ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of you, Mac and I, let me like to ask you to remain seated where you are just for a moment as we secure the hook to the dock and unload the luggage off the back deck. Yeah. So right here we have the United States 
post office. Okay. It's open all year round to serve the island of Prospect 500 to 600 permanent residents. However, it does not deliver mail. There's a thing that goes around the island. Rain, snow, sleet, or hail. Please come pick up your own darn mail. However, there is UPS and Amazon deliveries via horse and dray that will be delivered to your door. So in 1901, motorized vehicles were banned on the island. However, if you look to the right, behind those big bay doors, holds the, the island's deepest, darkest secret. Motorized vehicles. <laughs> so there are some emergency and maintenance vehicles on the island, such as a fire, five fire trucks, police vehicles, ambulances, and some other maintenance vehicles. Because the island is 82% state park, and I doubt if a fire starts, you'd want to be as incredible as they are. Smart intelligent horses putting out any fires or delivering you to the hospital. So we do have some exceptions. The Agatha and Edward Biddle House right here is the oldest residence on the island, dating back to 1780, and was owned by Agatha and Edward Biddle. That can be toured with admission to Fort Mac. Lots of history and information about the house, the natives, and the importance of the island. So, the island is famous for the fudge shops. There's a few fudge shops. If you have a free sample from all of them, that would be a lot. And you probably eat around two pounds of free fudge, feel a little sick, and might end up over to the right, the Mackinac Island Medical Center. And that's okay. We do have a doctor here that resides here year round. His hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 4. So please schedule your emergencies accordingly. However, on a real note, there are emergency services whenever needed. These big green buildings to the left here are the Twilight and the Windsor. They used to be hotels. However, now they are housing for Grand Hotel employees, which is the largest employer on the island. And most of them are college students. The street we're currently on was the main street back in the early 1800s when the fur trade activity was active. Now it just simply houses many of the island's bed and breakfast shops in our gallery. To the right here, behind this freshly painted beautiful white fence, is the Chambers Stable. So the Chambers family is the CEO of our company, Church Tour. They have been housing horses there for over five generations. And this stable was the original, is the only original delivery stable on the island. The taxi horses used to run out of this building before the new taxi barn was built. And now this barn simply houses the wedding church and the hackney There are about 200. 300 weddings that happen on the island each year. I don't know how many divorces, but <laughs> I heard that 11 happened in one day. Weddings. <laughs> weddings. No divorces, remember? No divorces. All right. There are numerous lilacs all over the island. However, the lilac tree right here in front of the Grand Cottage is said to be the oldest, dating to almost 200 years. And all of these lilac trees here and all the lilac trees around the island will be in full bloom if you visit Mackinac Island this June. 
to operate taxi service, dray service, and trash and recycling pickup. Because there's still 500 and residents that live on the island. So these horses, all the horses you see will always work with each other. And they work on the same side. So Hazel's always on the right, Cam is always on the left, and that's how all the horses work. They have the same teammate and the same side. This right here to our right is the taxi barn where the taxi horses live. Upcoming is Middle Barn. That is where the horses that pull the three horse hitch carriage live. And that red carriage holds something very golden. Does anyone know what golden item is held in that special carriage? Fertilizer! Secret ingredient to the fun. <laughs> Actually, it's the secret ingredient to the healthy flowers and the healthy trees and plants. And actually a lot of people do purchase it, so a lot of the manure and the organic material actually gets shipped off the island as well for fertilizers, gardens and such. There's also deposits throughout the island as well, like 82% of the island is state park, so a lot of it gets deposited in the state park to add to top soil. And then right here you will see a white barn. That's where the farriers work. We have three farriers. If you don't know what that is, they put shoes on horses. These horses have shoes that last anywhere from four to eight weeks, depending on the horse. Sometimes they will just lose a shoe, and it's part of my responsibility to make sure they have all their shoes on before I get them ready for work. Behind the big barn where these two live is the shower rack. That is where I rinse off these horses' legs and give them a bath at the end of the day. Yeah, it's the horses' house for the stable. Oh. 
Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tim, and this is Barry Drift 5 for the day. If I can have those of you on the far side of the street, no, don't leave my carriage. देखो किसका फोटो लगा रहा है किसका फोटो लगा रहा Please don't touch. No touch. No, 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 no. Thank you. Wait, wait. We'll try to get one more on. Wait, wait.
तेरे फोन से लेना सामने से See, we got three houses. Far right walk is Baba. Everyone say, hey, Baba, what? Shake it. Hey, Baba, what? All right, you guys sounded like a church choir on that last one. Uh, together with Don in the middle, I call them the Mafia. 
They may cross now with snowmobiles instead of horses, but they still follow the path of Christmas tree for safety. All right, I think I made it abundantly clear that that's the Catholic cemetery. And just so you know, right over here is the Protestant cemetery. Well, already you can see the glaring differences between the two. Uh, the Catholic wall is much stonier, but if you look at the Protestant wall, well, you can see that it indeed is much holier. If you look over here to my left, that green sign with the yellow writing, that's a marker for the oldest tombstone here. It dates back to 1831. The name on it is Harriet Mitchell, and she, uh, she died at the age of 83 which was a pretty lengthy lifespan for that time period. In some ways, I consider it the ironic opposite to Mary Biddle, who died such a tragic young age. Here to my left is the Fort Mackinac Post Cemetery. Um, there are 109 graves there, only 39 are known. A big reason for that is originally those tombstones from which crosses that gradually eroded away, adding more nutrients to it. Uh, the, uh, the wooden cross cemeteries have eroded away. On top of that, the documentation on who is buried where caught fire to support it and destroyed forever. So for both those reasons, that flag always flies at half staff. Now, uh, right past the Catholic Cemetery, you're going to see a mound of earth. That's a, um, uh, that is a Native American burial ground. I uh, came over here about 60 years ago. Uh, they were tearing down the McNally Cottage downtown. And uh, when they cleaned up the debris of the building with a blaze of soft and limestone rock. Uh, there'll also be bathrooms if you need them. I'll tell you the time before you leave the time I need you back. So let's be back. They were walking up the street. Hopefully in that eight minute period. Uh, the bathrooms are in the brand new Millican Nature Center owned by the State Park.
Hurry. Careful, Pari. Pari, Pari, careful. You can't see, yeah. I want to see, I want to see. Is it okay? Can I see? No, you can't see. Pari. Funny. Say hi. I'm here. It's so beautiful.
Hihi. टैलेंट ने डिजाइन किया होगा रुकने इधर अरे कितनी बड़ी चीन वैसे सी गए अरे कम ही है उसको तेरे पास बुला देते हैं Hey, what's that?
Thank you.